know they're marked. What do you got there? Just always looks like she's flirting with me, which is fine. I think today is my 10th year as a sheep farmer, officially. Good boy. <laughs> Hello. Not your circus, not your monkeys. Hi. Are you friendly? Oh, no. Okay, bye. Did you do that? You're cut off. Morning. Our weaning didn't go exactly as planned. So yeah, they were able to find a hose, pull it off. They're gonna go to cold turkey now. I was trying to be nice, but that never usually pays off. So we just finished hoof trimming that last group. So we just want to run the group we hoof trimmed on Friday through the through this system again. And Chris is just going to give them a uh, shot of their vaccine that they missed last week. So I have them marked with a yellow dot on the back of their neck. And then the rest is just going to go straight through our setup here. Okay. You can do that. And I'll keep them going through here. Pink eye. What do you got there? Hmm. Yeah, she's got, uh, she's either had her eye irritated or it's been pink eye, but see how it's all blurry compared to its other one? So I will give it an antibiotic. Okay, and it should get that treated. Otherwise, it's eating, she's eating. Well, looking for corn. You're just missing one here, one row here that's. We're in the other barn. I haven't been over here in a couple of weeks. And uh, we are going to take our market weights for this week. So we're gonna run everybody over the scale. If they're 105 pounds or over, they are gonna go into the drop pen as usual. There's gonna be one other thing that we're gonna do this go around as well. We're actually gonna scan all the lambs this time uh, because I wanna know if uh, we have any ewe lambs that I'm gonna keep back. I don't like keeping September and December ewe lambs, but I think 
this year, just because I'm kind of going through my flock fairly heavily, um, I want to make sure I have enough replacement ewe lambs. If I decide in a few months that I don't need them, I can still ship them. Uh, but I really want to get their gland back vaccination into them. So we're going to pick out a few. Red is in this group, so her and a few others. So Red is Tunis uh, sired, but the other ones that I would keep for replacements would be Rito sired. Everything's set up. Um, we will put a little paint dot on the back end of the ewe lambs we decide to keep and they'll just go back over with the rest of the group uh, in four weeks when we go to do them again we will sort them then and put them in their own pen and they'll start a more of a uh, controlled diet so they don't get too overweight with uh, being full fed like the rest of them probably didn't even need to be in here but so when we scan them if they're female and Rito sired then we'll just we'll just Halt for a sec. Bye. Okay, Suffolk cross Rito. And no, ga gains aren't good enough. And that one can be shipped, so we'll put Brussels ship. Suffolk Cross Rito twin. It looks good. So on this one, if you want to write gland back, all right, and mark. good. Right, we finished that job. I have a few more jobs I have to do over here, apparently. Um, so I think we counted 31 ready to go this week, which is awesome. Um, I can't off the top of my head remember how many ewe lambs we have, but quite a few have little red bums, including little red, little red with her little red bum. Hey, you're pretty sweet. This is my next dilemma that I've run into. Uh, never good when I got a heat gun the beginning of May, but I believe it's probably just some fallout from winter time. This guy's been dripping and we got a bit of a accumulation of water. Okay, I think I got everything after three or four trips to the shop. So this is going to go into the hose. So I have to connect this, get a joiner put the joiner in and then a reducer and then the uh, cap because apparently I got the wrong size cap so it's gonna be long and ugly but it's gonna work right right don't really know why they don't make the uh, these long enough Got her from it. All right. Hopefully that will work. Okay, that wasn't entirely my fault. I have a tap that won't shut off all the way at the main tap, so I had to shut the main line into the barn off. Good to know before next winter. On, 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 sure we have water, we have water on the side, what do we do? Do we have any drips? No drips, I wonder what happened to my dear. 
Morning guys it is uh, I think it's Tuesday I just got the trailer hooked up I am taking some more wool to the wool washing place in Blythe Baton's and uh, and then we're kind of caught up after that until Charlie comes back again I feel like uh, we're still actually sitting on some wool in my storage container there so uh, between that load and the load that I'm gonna get done here I'll just make one big trek to Lindsay, to Mariposa, and hand off my all my wool to them, and they can uh, work their magic. Anyway, in Blythe, I'm also meeting my friends Romy and Ryan for lunch, because they're dropping off wool as well. Okay, I'm backing up and I'm terrible. I'll talk to you guys a bit. Okay, that is loaded. Mark even helped me. Oh, he loves me. I guess tit for tat, I help him, so he has to help me once in a while. About the wool, I have a, uh, I've had a couple fairly big milestones I haven't shared with you guys. Uh, I just, I've been busy, or maybe it just isn't what you have hyped up in your head. Sometimes you're like, I think sometimes you think once you hit a milestone, you're like, oh, that's it. I've conquered the world. Well, it doesn't happen. It's just another day. But uh, I will say this. Uh, I have just completed my fifth year on YouTube as of April 22nd. And then, uh, and I think today is my 10th year as a sheep farmer, officially. I remember when I first started getting into sheep, everyone said, if you can make it past three years, then you're probably going to be a lifer. <laughs> So uh, in celebrating that, I've actually worked with Mariposa creating some products that I think are pretty much on brand for this channel and my, just my journey as a sheep farmer. Like if you watch me from the very beginning, which there might be three of you, uh, put it down in the comments if you are, or let me know what year you started watching. But anyway, the very first videos I had out, I always wore a pink Toque. Anyway, the pink toque has become kind of my thing, uh, and the collection that I came out with uh, definitely revolves around that pink toque. And I believe we have some anniversary actual Billy wool. So Billy and his friends, we were able to get enough wool to make a little collection out of his too. So lots of nice stuff coming out. I don't know when I'm going to launch it. I should have probably launched it for Mother's Day, but I just haven't I just did the Easter launch. I don't know when it's going to be, but if you don't want to miss out on a, on a launch, on a wool drop, this will be the last one until fall and winter. I've got two big ones coming up for then, but I need the summer to not have to uh, do wool stuff. So there is a link to my newsletter down below. The people who follow my newsletter, um, I try to get one up every Monday. I didn't get one up today, or I didn't get one up yesterday. Uh, but that is where... I always announce when I'm dropping my wool first. So if you want to be in the loop, uh, that announcement will probably come out next Monday. I'm hoping anyway. So hopefully I'll have a date for you guys. All right, I better get going. I'm going to be late for lunch. My camera looks so weird right now. I'm testing out my mic, so I'm hoping it works. Oh boy, this is still really wet. What are you saying, Willow? All right, this is kind of bothering me. This uh, water still seeping out of these two pens, or maybe just this one, I haven't decided. I might actually take a few minutes right now and uh, take this litter out and start all over. I'm gonna put you over to the other side here. Okay, Willow, I'll do you first. Yeah. Hi, <laughs> Kinky. Come here, oh goodness gracious. 
So I'm just putting these on to, for something to hang the water pails on because the hooks don't go over those bars, the thicker bars. This is so weird actually talking to you while I'm working. It's brilliant. Oh, sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. Hey, Willow, you show them the scoop. If I just do this and this, maybe. Just maybe. Oh yeah. Okay, kids. Come on. Follow the leaders. You're not the leaders. Come on. That's it. There we go. Say hi. Say I'm so big. You're huge. Look how big you are. I can't believe it. You're such a good boy. Such a good boy. <laughs> are you my big boy? Oh. All right. Okay, the other thing I wanted to do was check in on that you that I treated for pink eye two days ago. She looks, she's chewing her cud. How you feeling, honey? Oh, it's open a little bit more. One right there. Hey, mama, turn your head. Turn your head. She, she is treated, so we'll just keep watching her. I don't necessarily know if it's pink eye or they get sometimes it gets really windy in the spine and when we're feeding the feed can blow up and just irritate it and uh, I wonder if that's what's happened it has happened before and then sometimes it just looks like pink eye she looks happy <laughs> just always looks like she's flirting with me which is fine Not your pen. Not your circus. Not your monkeys. Oh, so how did you get me? Okay. Hmm. Do I have another bar? Don't you come in here. Don't even think about it.
Is that better or is it the same? Cinnamon. She still loves me. Where's your baby? Where's your baby? Oh, here it comes. Here she comes. She's right there. <laughs> Look how big your baby is. All that milk. Wow. Look at that tail. That is one happy baby. Well done, Cinnamon. Well done. What are you saying? Oh, I love my tunises. You sucking my thumb? Oh, you are so sweet. <laughs> thumb sucker. Okay, that's your teeth. That's your teeth. That's not very nice. can't tell you how many times, well I can tell you how many times, every single time I go to ship lambs, I forget that we now have a uh, record of movement that we have to hand in. Uh, just basically saying address, uh, trailer license plate, when we loaded, last on feed and water, and all the things. So yeah, that's just one added thing that I have to remember to do on ship day. And if you're anything like me, I'm just a creature of habit. So anything new, it takes me, this will take me six months to get used to doing. Well, hello, kitty. Where do you come from? Oh, you're a nice kitty. What are you doing? Meow. Hi. Are you friendly? Oh, no. Okay, bye. Living in there? Yes, I'm 